Two snowmobilers from Overton, Nevada were rescued Wednesday afternoon and are in stable condition after a Sunday morning snowmobile trip turned deadly. The husband and wife were snowmobiling near the summit of State Road 14 when they got stuck in deep powder. The couple spent the next three days and nights desperately trying to survive sub-zero temperatures. Great to be back. I didn't think I was ever going to get out of there. And I want to say thank you to everybody involved. It was amazing because I never thought I was going to see anybody ever again. It was tough. Wentz said he had no food or water, but he ate snow, turned on his snowmobile engine, and climbed inside the engine compartment to stay warm during a blizzard on Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes they don't end this well. Uh, they, we're, we feel we're just happy that they're alive and, and they're going to be okay. Rescue efforts included Iron and Washington County Sheriff's Offices, Iron County Search and Rescue, and the U.S. Civil Air Patrol. Rescuers search for the couple with snowmobiles, snowcats, helicopters, and airplanes. It's quite a unified effort between a lot of agencies. Uh, uh, they all work well up here, and we're very pleased at the outcome. The couple was taken by ambulance to Cedar City, somewhat hypothermic, but were expected to make a full recovery and return to Nevada Wednesday night. It's been a, an intense three days for these two people that have been trapped up here. It's very miraculous that these people are alive. For SUTV, I'm Ben Peterson. 52 SUU students and advisors headed south for spring break to do service in Guaymas, Sonora, Mexico. On Sunday, clothes and toy donations were given to locals in poor neighborhoods. Oh, so good. It was so cool to see how excited they all were to get even just like a few little items of clothing. And some of them might not have even fit the people that got them, but they were just so excited to receive anything. At a soup kitchen, several students cleaned curtains. Another group painted benches in a local park. It's just a really good thing because it really shows the community what we're all about. And we just want to serve and help people. And even though they'll probably be, you know, painted on later, it's okay because we felt really good about it as we're serving. One of the primary projects of the week was building a cinder block house for a local woman. We leveled out all this earth that you can see behind me. And so we made that so we could be able to pour on it. And we had to compact it all. And then all these rocks, we placed all these rocks, we poured concrete over those. Um, we poured the concrete foundation and the slab, and now we're just waiting on blocks to show up and get started on that. I mean, the most high-tech thing we had here was the cement mixer. So, and we mixed it all by hand. No cement truck, no pump truck, no power trowels, nothing. One of the highlights for many on the trip was serving in an orphanage. The students had a party with the orphans and spent time playing with them. Then we just like played hand games and like uh, keep away and it was just so fun. Like they're so accepting and like warm to you even though like you aren't going to be there for long which amazed me like because that would be so hard to like be an orphan and have like all these cool people come in and play with you and then know that they're going to be gone the next day but they still don't like they still get attached or whatever, which I thought was cool. The trip was an opportunity for SUU students to view another culture firsthand and to learn the value of service. Being able to be there and work and um, yeah, give my time is a great experience and it feels good, it really does. For SUTV, I'm Ben Peterson.